people think it's his day today to win in MotoGP for the very first time. Who will master Motorland? MotoGP, five races to go. And the next one starts now. Good start from Cal Drunchlow from third on the grid, but coming through from the second row is Jack Miller and Franco Morbidelli. And Morbidelli goes through ahead of his teammate and will lead into turn one, but he's wide. Yeah, he's well, well wide. Morbidelli hugged the inside line, got into the lead briefly. It's a Yamaha one, two, three. It was a great start by Maverick Vinales from second. He rubbed elbows and shoulders with Fabio Quattararo, toughed it out of the brakes in the first corner. Vinales leads. Look at the start Rins. by Rins as well. Alex Rins, 10th to 4th. Unbelievable from Rins. Mir has lost a couple of places. He's fighting at the moment with Takanaka Gami. And Dovi's also got a good start. He's made up a couple of decent places. What a first lap then so far for Alex Rins. Absolutely sensational. Got ahead of the Ducati of Jack Miller. Mir started 6. He's in 6th place right now. No way through for Miller on Rins down to the reverse corkscrew for the first time. This couldn't have gone better for Maverick Vinales at the start. This would have been his dream, dream start. As you can see there, Mir going through on Jack Mir's finally got Miller so now he can start worrying about reeling in Franco Morbidelli who since Rins passed him has had nothing for the Spaniard Alex Rins has quite comfortably gapped Franco Morbidelli and struggling to go with the top three right now the number 21 Vinales then so far so good for him he leads at the end of lap three although the pace hotting up behind him Quattararo and Rins exchange fastest laps. The quickest man on the circuit right now is Alex Rins in third with a 148.404. Alex Marquez makes another place up. He's gone ahead now with Takanaka Gami. He's into seventh. Just through on the world championship leader. More grey hairs and no nails for Davide Brivio coming very, very shortly. Alex Rins, when he hit the front in the Red Bull ring, crashed a couple of corners later, didn't he? Mazzano 2007 to have two bikes on the pony Marquez going for on the inside of Franco Morbidelli is Morbidelli yet another victim yep. of the hard charging Spaniard he certainly is his ability to be able to turn that Repsol Honda is unbelievable he moves up into fourth place across the line Alex Marquez again a 48-9 the only rider in the 48 well, final couple of corners have been really difficult for Quattro to get that Yamaha stopped. And again, he can't run the tight line. No, no. He cannot run the tight line. He hasn't got the edge grip, front or rear, to combat those last couple of corners. How many places has Fabio Quattro lost there? He's lost another one now to Takenakagami. Said so TC2 on his pit board. Is that traction control two? Is that a setting to change to? Either way, Quattro oh. cannot hold a line and cannot hold the place in the top eight. Steve, he's got big bother here because Miller, Davizioso, Crutchlow, Petrucci, Zarco, and Alexis Bargaro, they're not a million miles behind him. Dobby's just got down to a low 149. That's his best lap of the race so far. Vignales, then he loses another place, and it's a Suzuki 1 2. They're side by side on the exit of turn 15. But surely Mir will have the edge in top speed. Somehow Maverick Vignales holds on, but here comes Mir again. He's got the inside line into the final turn. He'll be able to hold the line better as well over Maverick Vignales, and surely he'll go through. He does. It's a Suzuki 1 2. The Yamaha just cannot hold the line, can it, in those last couple of corners? We've seen it. Be a big problem for Fabio Quattararo. Can Maverick Vinales respond? He's getting worse for him. Alex Marquez dive bombs him. Absolutely awesome that. Came from a long way back and now he's nicked third place from Maverick Vinales. Awful couple of corners there. Terrible sequence for Vinales. Second to fourth. Amazing, isn't it? Yamahas have been so strong all weekend at the moment. None of them are on the well, here it is then. He's going to get into the slipstream and turn 16 where he's able to hold the line so much stronger than the Suzuki's up ahead of him. Is this the moment where Alex Marquez pounces? It's going to be midway through this corner where you're going to see Alex Marquez try and go through on the inside. Here he goes. Through he goes like a hot yeah. knife through butter. He's got that medium front tyre on, hasn't he? Which at this stage of the race will be hanging in there better than the soft front. Absolutely brilliant by Alex Marquez. Can he incredibly? make it a Marquez victory here in Motherland. Mark Marquez has won here the last three years. <laughs> Look, his Alex crossed. Marquez. <laughs> Father Julian, well he can barely watch. I wonder what's going on back in Severa with Mark. It's going to be squishing around less as he can carry lean angle as well. At the moment, you've got to say Mir struggling to get back on par with the two men ahead of him. How much risk will Juan Mir be willing to take? I'm sure he's got a message on his pit board or on the dashboard exactly what's happened to Fabio Quattararo, who's having a wretched day. Quattararo outside the points in 17th place. Mir might just be thinking now a little bit more about the championship rather than taking risks of two men fighting with two men ahead of him who clearly are not really 
championship contenders at all. Ale is in a lonely third, fourth place. There will be no podium, it looks like, here for Yamaha. Julian Marquez looking on. <laughs> If you look to the left there with his fingers still crossed and is this now going to be the lap where the launch comes from Alex Marquez down the back straight we go and on the approach to turn 16 here he comes you can look at that shot of his father on the left hand side of the screen he can barely watch it's coming he doesn't, down. he doesn't know what to do with oh, it. oh he's almost down a major warning a major warning look at his father there in the box to the left hand side of the screen he's got his head in his hands it's alex versus alex rins versus marquez with two to go in aragon who's gonna be the winner there's not a lot of overtaking opportunities left here's one of them down the hill into the reverse corkscrew and it's still rins that has the advantage Dropping down then, Alex Marquez is just, you know where he's going to try it. Yeah, turn the last couple of corners. It's the only he's place. He's going to try and get in the slipstream of that Suzuki. In a horsepower shootout, you think it's going to be advantage Honda. These are a crucial couple of corners down there for Alex Marquez. He's got to try and get close enough to get that slipstream on the Suzuki and then try and move up the inside of Alex Rins into those final couple of corners. Is he going to be close enough? Rins riding out of his skin to stay in the lead. In the meantime, there's three tenths between Mir and Vinales. There could yet be a twist in the tail. John, it's Alex from Alex. A standing victory for Alex Rins here in Aragon. Ahead of Alex Marquez, who gets a dry podium to follow up his one in France as well. Mir does just hold on to third. Ahead of Maverick Vinales. Nakagami with a solid fifth place finish for him. More Bedelli sixth and Dovi in seventh. But what a ride from Alex Marquez, the rookie. Back-to-back -back podiums for him. And Alex Rins takes Suzuki's first win of 2020 and back from the bitter disappointment of that crash while in podium contention while in victory contention in Le Mans last weekend it was all about the start he made a sensational start from Marquez that would take there